media recruit cite monkey noises among claims of racism. Everybody knows what those sounds and noises stand for. At the Drug Enforcement Administration's Training Academy in Virginia last year, an instructor on the firing range called out a name that was shared by two trainees, one black and one white. When both responded, the white instructor clarified, I meant the monkey. That behavior, as alleged in an internal complaint, didn't stop there. The instructor also was accused of going on the loudspeaker in the tower of the outdoor firing range to taunt black trainees by making monkey noises. We were like, it's 2019. That shouldn't even be a thing that we're dealing with, said Derek Maes, who did not hear the noises himself but recalled the discomfort they caused his fellow black trainees who did. Everybody knows what those sounds and noises stand for. As the DIA continues a decades-long struggle to diversify its ranks, it has received a string of recent complaints describing a culture of racial discrimination at its training academy in which minorities are singled out, derided with insults and consistently held to a higher standard than their white counterparts, according to interviews with former recruits and law enforcement officials and records obtained by the Associated Press. In one case, a black recruit was told his skin color made him a surefire candidate for undercover work. In another, a Hispanic woman, chatting in Spanish with a fellow trainee, was admonished to speak English, you are in the United States. At least two of the complaints prompted internal DIA investigations, one of which is ongoing. The complaints, which are not typically made public, offer a rare window into the frustration minorities have voiced about their treatment at DIA since the filing of a 1977 civil rights lawsuit that remains unresolved despite a series of court orders governing the agency's hiring and promotion practices. Last year, a federal judge ruled that DIA had run afoul of court orders intended to remove subjectivity from agent promotions. Like other federal law enforcement agencies, including the FBI, the DIA has struggled to fill its ranks with minorities. Of the agency's 4,400 special agents, just 8% are black and 10% are Hispanic. The DIA said it could not immediately provide a racial breakdown of recent graduates of the Quantico Virginia Academy, which puts through multiple classes a year of about 50 to 60 trainees each. DIA takes allegations of misconduct very seriously and will not tolerate discriminatory behavior of any kind, the agency said in a statement. DIA is committed to recruiting, retaining, and promoting a workforce that reflects the diversity of our country and the people we serve. In the case of the firing range instructor making monkey noises, at least two black trainees raised their concerns to a DIA supervisor, who sent them up the chain of command, prompting Special Agent Jay Mortensen to be removed from his post on the firing range. But to the disappointment of the recruits, he was not disciplined before retiring. The DIA told AP the instructor was promptly reassigned after agency leadership learned of the alleged inappropriate behavior. The agency said it has no authority to pursue an administrative action because its internal affairs arm, the Office of Professional Responsibility, was still investigating when Mortensen retired last year. His retirement ended that probe. Contacted by AP by telephone, Mortensen called the allegations incorrect but said I'm not going to talk to you about it before hanging up. The recruits who originally accused Mortensen are still employed by the DIA and not permitted to speak publicly about the incidents. Former recruits who spoke to AP said racism permeated their time at the academy from their first day of basic training, alleging exceptions were routinely made for underperforming white trainees while blacks were held to an appreciably higher standard. They weren't going to let me graduate and become an agent no matter what, said Theo Brown, a black recruit from Marietta, Georgia, who contends he was unfairly dismissed in early 2018. They put you in situations where they can fail you at something subjective, 